Hey guys, Doug B here. We have us a Firmware Monday of all things. Doesn't have the same ring as Firmware Friday, but I will definitely take it. Axe FX3 Firmware version 20.00 public beta, beta 4. And the first note about it, as you can see right here, this firmware is not compatible with previous versions of Axe Edit. A new version of Axe Edit is required for use with this version and is available here. So it's a new beta firmware and a new Axe Edit to go with it. Now let's take a look at the notes. New block mixer algorithm results in faster slash quieter scene and channel changes. This new algorithm allows placing amp blocks in series without the concomitant sound burst that would normally occur when switching scenes. That's a mouthful. New speaker drive algorithm and amp lock. This new algorithm more accurately models the frequency dependent distortion of guitar loudspeakers. The default value upon resetting the block is 2.0, which gives roughly 1 dB of compression. Setting the value to 0.0, .0 defeats the speaker drive modeling. Higher values give a smoother and more focused sound, rounding off the sharp edges and yielding greater compression. So it looks like for this one to take place, you will have to reset the block. Very simple process. Just switch to another amp and then switch back to the amp that was in it and that resets it. Added new dynamic distortion block. This effect distorts the input signal dynamically, applying more distortion to different frequency ranges depending on the shape of the filter. When the signal level is low, the output will be the same as the input. As the signal level increases, more distortion will occur in those bands boosted by the filter shape. This is a powerful tool for final shaping slash mastering of your tone. The block contains a handful of presets which demonstrate the basic technique. Fixed amp block scene ignore not being recalled correctly in some cases. Various other fixes and improvements. And once again the note, this firmware is not compatible with previous versions of AxeEdit. A new version of AxeEdit is required for use with this version. Well, there you have it guys, new firmware. It's beta, so you know a lot of you guys, you're gonna hold off and that's just fine. Wait for it to get out of beta and get moved into actual production. Me on the other hand, I download that guy and here we are the Axe Edit version 1.12.01 or 1.12.01. Anyway, it supports firmware 20.00 public beta 4 and I will put links for all these guys in the description. And I'll be downloading the Mac version. All right, guys, I guess we'll take a look at this this Friday, even though my uh, preset of the week says we're gonna be looking at something else. When firmware comes up, we deal with the firmware first and then move on to other items. So we will be taking a look at this firmware on Friday. All right, guys, see you for preset of the week on Wednesday. Bye now.